hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we will be seeing cognizant gen c latest actual interview experience and in this video i have covered the most asked important technical and hr related questions okay you will get questions from sql database hr related questions oops concepts okay all types of con questions which were asked to the candidate you will get it in this single video make sure to watch the video till complete end and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section i just want one thing from you guys if you're finding it helpful please do write the word helpful in the comment section so that i get to know how many of you are preparing for your interviews and i can post more videos related to it so guys before we start the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you and you can see on daily basis i am posting videos related to your cognizant gen c interview you can check on my channel and there is a complete playlist on cognizant prep you will find all the important interview experiences in this playlist okay so now without wasting any time let's get started with our interview experience for today let's look at this question the first question usually that you will be asked will be introduce yourself or tell me about yourself now i have noted down few important points that you should include in your introduction while you are going to attempt your interview okay what are those important uh, like you know information first thing is you should start with your name and educational background like what you have done if you have done bachelor's in like you know uh, like if you have done btech in then in which branch so those types of basic details you can say now you don't have to go very in detail like if you can also tell about your school name also if required uh, from where you have done 10th and 12th that's that is more than enough okay now next thing that you have to mention is your technical skills and any programming languages that you know because you know this is very important because with, by saying this you are setting the tone of your interview by yourself because you are telling them indirectly that i am in like i am comfortable in this language so ask me questions related to this uh, particular language okay next up we have talk about your projects internships if you have done any or research work now you know i get a lot of queries that you know we have not done any internship so what should we talk about guys see uh, I can totally understand it is not feasible sometime to do the internships you might not get uh, like exact good opportunity for internships but i know one thing that there is always one or the other online courses availability is also there okay so you should al always do some sort of course or some like you know handmade project you should create by learning from like you know and you know you might say now you know like uh, i can't do any project or courses from you know you uh, udemy or something so why not from youtube you can even search for you know project from youtube and create a simple project during your like you know btech and then you can showcase that as in, in term instead of internship okay that is what i want to say that internships uh like you know data can easily be replaced with your project related stuff okay that you have created basically you have to tell something which you have done on your own to increase your skill set and to learn new things right okay moving on highlight any certifications or extra curricular uh, things that you have okay you can mention that now i have just taken a very basic example you can also uh, not you can but you have to prepare your own introduction according to you because customized introduction is very much needed you cannot just directly copy paste the one which i am get, giving you i am just giving you so that you will get an idea how you have to prepare yourself let's see the answer hello my name is and then you have to say your name i am currently pursuing or if you have already completed in previous batches you have to say i have completed my uh, degree from so and so college and then i have strong skills in you have to mention your technologies i have worked on projects related to like if you have worked on front end web development whatever you have to mention that where i implemented uh, if you have if you have worked on a front end project you can say technologies like react angular html css javascript so on additionally i have completed internships or certifications in whatever relevant fields uh, you have you can mention that i am passionate about problem solving and web development okay so in this way you have to prepare your introduction moving on now next question is about your explain your project in detail and guys these questions which i am telling you from this interview experience you can consider that these are short short questions okay you will also definitely get these questions so at least if you can't prepare much then at least prepare the answers for these questions and be ready for this one okay let's see the answer for uh, this project detail one first thing you have to briefly describe about your project what it is about you have to mention the technologies that you have used in your project like java python react sql whatever it can be explain the key features and functionalities of your project what it is delivering okay because every project that you create delivers some value right so what it is delivering that you have to discuss then discuss any challenges that you have faced while creating this project and have you how you have solved it now you know there can be two cases uh, you might have created a project as a part of a team or you might have created a project individually so you have to prepare your answers accordingly okay now one of the examples like you know answers is i worked on a project which is a then you have to tell your short description about it like for example an e-commerce website or machine learning model anything you can mention i used a tech stack like 
Java, Python, whatever to develop this project. One test challenge I faced while creating this project was when you have to mention your challenge and then I solved it by using whatever uh, solution that you have. Now guys, do, uh, you have to keep a note of one thing. I have also noticed a lot in many cases because you know, uh, if for those of you who don't know me, like I have myself taken so many interviews in like, you know, in the corporate, uh, in my corporate job. So I have seen that most of the freshers, what mistake they do is they dig in very detail. Okay. For uh, you know for some answers for example if they are saying that how they have faced a challenge they will they don't think that how much they are speaking you should understand that your answer should not exceed 30 to 40 seconds okay you have to understand this thing this is very important because sometimes you know you get so much in the flow that you keep on speaking and then you are short of time later and you know interviewer can't sometimes sometimes some interviewers are like so that they will interrupt in between and they will say okay let's move on to the next question but some not all the interviewers are like so okay and you know usually when like you know when an interviewer is sitting for an interview he has like 10 to 15 questions fixed written or ready mostly okay that they have to cover it in this interview and then if you are taking more time then that uh, time in which they have to ask other question is going into this thing now they have to analyze you based on the answers or discussion which is going on okay so you can understand right if they are asking more questions then you also have a good chance that you can answer more questions and you can show a good like you know impression on them Okay, enough of the details now. Let's move on to the next question quickly. I don't want the video should go long. Next is what are the types of SQL languages? Okay, this is one of the most asked questions. Okay, you should definitely uh, prepare this answer. See, SQL is divided into five categories. DDL, DML, DQL, DCL and TCL. Let's understand the full form of all. Now, these can be individual questions in itself. Okay, like what is the full form of DQL? What is DML? So, you should have basic understanding of everything. I can't cover entire syllabus here, syllabus here but I am covering the most important questions that are asked. But based on that, you have to do some extra homework also. You have to go on the internet and have to search for those things and you have to prepare by yourself. See, what is DDL? DDL stands for data definition language and what are the different kinds of commands that comes under it? Create, alter, drop. Then comes your data manipulation language which is DML in which it comes insert, update and delete. These are all manipulation languages which means data is already there but you need to change it or manipulate it or update it whatever you can say. Then we have DQL which is data query language. Okay, in that we have select. Select basic query means what? Query means to retrieve data out of something. Okay. So that is why for that we use select uh, query, right? Next up we have DCL which is data control language. For that we have grant and revoke. And then TCL which is transaction control language. This is the, like uh, very rarely the questions comes on this. But yeah, just to give you knowledge, I have included that. Commit, rollback and save point are the commands which comes under this. Moving on to the next question now. Guys, before we dig deep into this video, I just want one thing from you guys. If you are finding it helpful, please write the word helpful in the comment box so that I get to know that how many of you are preparing from this interview experience and if they are relevant and more comments, I will post more questions related to this. Okay. Let us see this question. What is the difference between union and union all? Okay. Let's see the answer of this question. First of all, union, it basically combines results from two queries, but removes the duplicates, then union all. Union all, what it does it, it combines the results without removing the duplicates. Now we have the two example queries. First one is here, that is select name from employee one, employees one, union, select name from employees two. Okay, this what it will do is, this will remove the duplicates. And then we have the other case where union all we are using, that is select name from employees one, union all, and then select name from employees too. So what this will do is this will keep your duplicates. So guys, if you have understand this thing about duplicate now, then you will never forget what is the major difference between union and union all. Okay. Just understand this, that union removes duplicates. Union all means it will keep everything. If there are any duplicate things also, it will keep them. Okay. From the two tables. Moving on to the next question now. What is the difference between a primary key and a unique key? Okay. Let's see the answer for this one now. Primary keys, basically it ensures unique values and cannot be null. Unique key. It ensures unique values but can have null values also. A table can have any, uh, a table can have only one primary key but multiple unique keys are possible in a table. The primary keys creates a clustered index where unique key creates non-clustered index. And I have taken an example here that is create table employees and here we have employee ID which is a type of integer and this is the primary key that is acting here. Then we have name, employee name which is a varchar and then we have email which is varchar and which is a unique, okay, unique key we can say. So I hope you have understood what is a primary key, what is a unique key and what is the major difference between both. Moving on to the next question. What are grant and revoke commands in SQL? Okay, let's see the answer for these questions. First is grant. 
basically grant is used to give permissions to a user and then revoke revoke is used to take back the permissions from a user okay so you can see the example here example queries are also taken so see grant select on employees to user and then revoke insert on employees from user one okay i hope you have understood it if you have not understood it and guys the main aim of this video is not to give you answers but to give you questions these answers are just for extra knowledge only you should not consider this only as a source of information what you should do is your main goal should be you should be reading or like focus on the questions and then if you feel that this content you are not understanding then it is your duty to go over the internet and read about these questions or topics in detail then only you can understand it okay because see just by like reading two or three lines will not give you an idea of the entire concept right so it is your duty that you have to go to the internet for some questions and you have to search it and prepare it well my part here is to give you the most asked questions and the most important ones so that when it comes in your interview you will also think yeah we have already studied these questions and this is nothing new for us right at least some basic content you will have to answer okay moving on to the next question which, which is what is an index in sql what are its types okay so index in sql okay let's see indexes improve query performance by speeding up your data retrieval there are different types of indexes uh, now let's see the types of indexes there are there is something called as cluster index now what it is it is basically sorts and stores your data in the physical order next up we have is non clustered index it stores pointer to the actual data next up we have is unique index it ensures all values in a column are unique and then we have composite index which is the index on multiple columns so we have the example here is create index index name on employees and employee name okay employees is the table name and employees name is the column name moving on what are triggers in sql so the answer is a trigger is an sql procedure that runs automatically when certain events occur and we have the options as insert update and delete second is it is used for maintaining logs enforcing business rules etc here we have one query where trigger is basically getting used the query is create trigger after insert after insert on employees for each row insert into logs and action values new employee added okay let's move on now quickly to the next question what are the different types of joins in sql let's see the different types of join and guys this is again the most asked questions or like you can say this is kind of short short question in your gen c interview because whatever interview experiences that i have got from previous candidates it is like i have i can say there is zero interview experience in which this question was not asked okay what whoever has shared and their interview experiences after interview like gen c interviews with me be it on campus off campus whatever they have definitely got this question so you should also prepare this question okay and guys i just want to let you also know that if you are also going to uh, like appear for your interview please if it's a humble request if possible try to share the questions that were asked to you in your interview because you know that way all the candidates who are going to uh, like appear for this gen c drive in the upcoming months they will get helpful uh, like they will get benefited right how you are getting benefited now from the interview experience of previous candidates in the same way they will also get benefited from the interview experiences of you guys let's see the answer for this question inner join basically it returns matching records from both the tables left join returns all the records from the left table and matching ones from the right table you have to understand all from left and matching from right right join it is the uh, like you know other way around of left join which is it returns all records from right and matching ones from the left outer join it returns all the records where when when there is a match in one of the tables and self join is joins a table with itself here we have an example let's see the example query select even.name e2.manager name from employees even inner join manager e2 on even.manager id and e2.manager id let's see the next question now now we have a question implement a cursor in sql this is not a very commonly asked question i would say but this was asked to one of the candidates so that is why i have taken this and you should also know it because just in case you know uh, like just in case if you are not aware of if you are not having any idea saying direct no does not gives a very good impression right so yeah let's see the answer for this question how can you implement a cursor in sql so basically cursors are used to process rows individually in a result set and here is the query that i have taken to uh, like you know implement the cursor let's read it read it once but i would highly suggest you please pause the video at this point and give it some time to understand it if you have any doubts please go over the internet try to search about it and then read it I'll have some basic data about it okay okay let's see the query declare cursor name cursor for select employees name from employees open cursor name fetch next from cursor name close cursor name and deallocate cursor name okay you can see basically something is happening here first of all declaration is happening then select 
then opening it, then fetching data, then closing it, and then deallocating it. Okay, so if you will understand it this way, understanding it will be very easy. It is a six step procedure, I think. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Okay, some behavioral questions, or you can say HR questions. Uh, that you will definitely get and you have to be very confident by answering these questions you have to try to stammer as little as possible and keep always keep a smiling face when answering hr question specifically okay let's see the answer for this question uh, why do you want to join cognizant basically the answer can be cognizant is a globally recognized it company known for its innovation and employee friendly work culture i admire how cognizant focuses on a digital transformation and cutting edge technologies the company offers great learning opportunities, structured career growth and exposure to diverse projects. I have been working at Cognizant. Uh, I believe working at Cognizant will help me uh, develop both technically and professionally and I am eager to contribute to the impactful projects. Now guys, you might sound, uh, you might feel that this is sounding too like, you know, bookish, right? So see, my aim is to give you some content, okay? Now it is on you. You have to, don't do this mistake that you just copy paste this and like, you know, learn it and say the same exact word. That will that would sound so wrong okay you have to what you have to do is you have to remember this data and based on this data you have to speak in your own words okay always try to be natural in your interviews okay be natural because you know uh, it might you might feel that the interviewer is not getting anything that you know even though we are already saying a ready-made answer but trust me like 100 percent of the interviewers get to know whatever answer you are speaking is in your own words or if you are just by hearting it and saying it okay so and uh, most of the interviewers prefer natural language over like you know mugged up answer okay that is what i'm saying this data is for you to get the basic data and based on this you have to prepare your own answers and so that you have some content while answering okay let's move on to the next question where do you see yourself in five years uh, most asked questions again the answer is in five years i see myself as a skilled software engineer with expertise in full stack development and cloud technologies i am aiming to take leadership roles mentor juniors and contribute to minor projects my goal is continuously upskill obtain relevant certifications and work on innovative solutions that we that add value to the organization cognizant provides the right environment for the professional growth and i look forward to advancing my career here see now you might have seen there are like almost seven to eight different points that are covered in this answer okay now that is why my aim is to give you as much as points as possible so that out of eight points at least you will remember two or three right so it will be good right you don't have to say all the eight points okay when i am preparing the answers i am preparing in such a way so, so that you will at least remember 25 percent of this answer right so that you have some content so see if you remember these three four points also like for example skilled software engineer okay with expertise in basic some technologies and then leadership roles where you will mentor junior so see these four points are also enough to give you like 30 second or to create a 30 second answer right so i hope you are understanding how you have to prepare your answers and give your answer okay so guys we have covered almost everything in this video if there is anything left please let me know in the comment section and you can ask your queries whatever it is about uh, gen c please let me know in the comment section i will answer all of your queries you can join me on telegram and follow me on instagram as well you can ask your customized queries over instagram dm also just in case in the like uh, comment section if my if your comment is missed by me then you can ask your queries over instagram dm also make sure to subscribe to the channel because that is most important because a lot of more helpful content is going to come for all of you even if you join corporate also after that also some some of the helpful content will be there on this channel for all of you so guys that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time